Hi, my name is Vince Farrell and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today I want to focus on one of the great productivity tools within SOLIDWORKS that will increase your efficiency. In this video, I will be showing off Mouse Gestures. Mouse Gestures is a tool that is enabled by default in SOLIDWORKS, but few people know it's there unless they stumble upon it by accident. This is an in-context productivity tool that is easily accessible by holding down your right mouse button. When I say in context, I mean that the mouse gestures will change depending on what type of file you are in, part, assembly, drawing, or inside a sketch. So let's take a look at mouse gestures. I'm first going to focus on this inner gear that I have open. If I click and hold the right mouse button and move slightly in a direction, the wheel pops up. These are your mouse gestures. By default, it's the settings are 4, but you can change them to 8. We'll get into that a little bit more later. To use your mouse gestures, keep holding your right mouse button and then swipe in the direction of the command you want to use. So I swipe right and it takes me into that right view of my part. I swipe up and it takes me to the top view of my part. Pretty easy, right? Let's take a look if I go into the sketch of that base revolve and I pull up mouse gestures again, you can see that now they've changed because I'm inside a sketch. So if I swipe up, it takes me into the smart dimension tool. I'm going to right click and hold and swipe up again and then it takes me out of that smart dimensioning tool. Let's switch over to an assembly here and I will do the same thing. Mouse gestures works the same way. Hold that right mouse button in the graphics area and you can see that again I get the view orientation command so they look just like in when I was inside that part but we can customize the part and the assembly to be different if we want. To further illustrate this I'm going to go into a drawing use my mouse gestures again and now you can see my commands have changed swipe down to open up the part if I'd like. Now that we're more familiar with mouse gestures and we know how to use them, let's go into customizing them, right? No point of having an efficiency tool if you can't make it your own. Go next to your system options and that pull down arrow and click customize. And that takes you to this customize menu where there's a lot of great things you can customize, your S key, the menus, your keyboard shortcuts, but we want to focus on this mouse gestures today. The first thing you're going to notice here is this big table of all the different commands that you can assign mouse gestures to. So you can see it's a pretty big table. We can sort by the category of command, the command name, whether we can use it in a part, assembly, drawing, or sketch. There are a lot of different things you can sort by. We can also use this pull down menu to sort by, again, that category of commands. The other thing we can take a look here is if we turn on that check mark, we can see what mouse gestures are already assigned so we can change this and, and filter out that table as needed. You can see over here we have mouse gestures enabled. If you really don't like them, you can click off that check mark and they'll be disabled. And then we can do four or eight gestures. I'm going to do eight gestures here and anytime you customize anything like that you can always go back to the factory defaults by hitting your reset to defaults. Now the other great thing I can do here is I can sort this list. So I want to use sketch picture command and all I'm going to do is just type in picture okay, and sketch picture shows up down there. You can see here I also have a couple other commands named picture but if the box is grayed out here, that means you can't use this command with in, or excuse me, inside a part or a drawing. You can only use it within an assembly or a sketch. So just something to keep in mind when you're assigning your commands. For the sketch picture, I'm going to assign it so that when I go to the right direction, it's going to insert the sketch picture. I'm going to hit OK, and now when I go back to my drawing, pull up my mouse gestures, I not only have eight gestures there now, but you can see if I go to the right, it takes me into inserting a sketch picture. So that's it for today. In today's video, I showed off using and customizing mouse gestures. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found this information as useful as I did. Use those mouse gestures. They're really going to help increase your 
productivity while you're designing once you get used to them and they're really great function within SOLIDWORKS. If you did find this information useful please give the video a like and also subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel to see more videos like this one. As always thanks for watching.